up guys Bob's back on the kingdom of retro gaming and I'm out hunting again now after my monster PS1 haul before uh, last week I've been looking at some more obscure items some kind of random items and I think I've just stumbled across an absolute beauty let's check it out so here we have the Famicom Dual system now it's obviously a knockoff but it's only 150 Hong Kong dollars. And look at that. So it plays both original Famicom and Super Famicom games. So you can have one console plugged in. Now I don't know if it has HDMI. It doesn't look like it. But for 150 bucks to have a console that can play both sets of games, I think would be absolutely awesome. And for 150 bucks, you can't really go wrong. So I'm going to message old Christy now and see what we can do about that. And then let's take a look for some Famicom games. Okay, the first one I stumbled on. I mean, can you go wrong? 500 in one for $80. Now, the pictures all list the games in Chinese. But when you scroll down in the description, they're all in English. So it actually shows you Turtles, Contra, 1 to 8, Rush Force, Tiny Toons, Double Dragon, Robocop, Adventure Island, Street Fighter 2010, <laughs> Spider Man, Batman, Power Rangers, Puzzle Bubble, I mean, Jungle Book. There are just games, four days, Mario 14. <laughs> 90 tank like this just list goes on and on ice climber load runner god i loved load runner scroll down scroll down porter astro robo i mean it's just we don't need to go through all 500 games but nutcracker spider-man submarine i mean i imagine most of these will be duplicates but spider-man one and two on there again Back Future, <laughs> uh, Aladdin 3, Dino Ricky, Ghostbusters, Spy Hunter, like, Wisdom. So for $80, I mean, 500 games, it would save a lot of space, wouldn't it? That's for sure. So I'm thinking, we might hit him up for a message. Get a Famicom collection going, but on one cartridge to save some space. Alrighty, now I'm going to pick up my 501 Famicom game from the SF Express lockers here in the plaza. And here we are, let's go. Let's check it out. 80 bucks, got delivered already. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So we go 92724928. Hmm, wrong pickup code. Let's try that again. 9272-4978. Oh, it's about to open. Oh, I gotta pay. 39 bucks. Paid successfully. Which one's gonna open? Hey! Oh! That's a big box for one Famicom game. Let's go check it out! Okay, team, I'm back home. Just picked up the uh, 501 Famicom game. My jewel system has also arrived. Let's take a look. Okay, I got my trusty Helpy Sushi with me. Helpy, helper. Let's go, Sush. What have we got? Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. <gasps> oh. FC Jewel. Very nice. Now, as it is a knockoff, we're obviously going to have to try it out. But first of all, let's get this out of the bubble wrap. Okay, there she blows. 
the new FC Dual FC SFC cartridges compatible. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, it's tiny. Look at that. That's proper small. Literally fits in my hand. But it plays Famicom and Super Famicom. So I'm guessing you turn it on onto one of those. Or you press reset and it swaps between the two. I mean, not really a whole lot more to say about it, really. Let's see now. The controllers look shoddy as hell. But... Ooh, that's more than a D-pad. But what I'm thinking is, will my Famicom, uh, SNES, Super Nintendo, fuck, will my Super Famicom controllers fit in there? Because it sure looks like they will. So we've got the console, the two controllers. I mean, this is why we only paid $150 for it, but I kind of like the controllers. They're proper small. But, and then we've just got our RGB cable and power cable. There we go. Jobs are good and there we have it. The new FC Jewel system. So, and then we go over here. Just because I can't have a video where there's only one thing. As you saw, I went online looking for some games in my last, uh, in my Donkey Kong video. I picked up Donkey Kong 4 the Famicom, and then we picked up this bad boy. I mean, it was just, <laughs> there it is. It's a lot of packaging for one little, look at that. Oof, that feels like a piece of crap. But, it's got 500 games on it. Now obviously most of those are gonna be knockoffs or whatever. But first of all, let's see if it fits in the system. Oh, take the rubber band off. Excuse me. Now, Famicom. Uh. <laughs> Doesn't even fucking fit. Hold on, let's try and get that out. Right. Famicom cartridge. Hmm, it says FC, but is it actually NES? Because that... Oh, does it fit? Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, it does, sorry. Just got a bit of wiggle room, just got a bit of wiggle room. But it's in. Now let's grab ourselves a Super Famicom game. Ooh. Uh, there we go, Mario Paint. Still looking for the mouse for this bad boy. And does that go in there? Fits in like a dream. So there we go, team. The FC Dual System, which takes uh, Super Famicom and Famicom games. Now, the big question is, does it work? Let's find out. Okay, I'm here in the bedroom. Because this TV has the um, yellow, white, and red cables that needed for my old, uh, what's it called? Game Joy system. So there we have it. Um, I've got my original Famicom. Now the reason I can't play this, and one of the reasons I got this, is because this only has old school aerial. Now my TV, old as it is, and can handle the... Um, yellow, white, and red, isn't old enough for actual old-school aerial. Also, the uh, polystyrene from this Famicom box is starting to screw with my wires. But I got this out because, remember, in my very first video, it came with some games. So I want to try the games, first of all, to make sure they work. Second of all, to see if the system works. And then I've got Mario Paint, which I haven't tried yet, and I bought ages ago, and good old classic Mario Kart. And, of course, my 501. So, we're going to plug some of these in and see what we can get. Let's do this.
Oh, sushi in a box. Okay, so I think we'll start Famicom. Uh, Super Famicom, sorry. So we've got the two slots, FC, SFC. We'll just stick the uh, Mario Paint in there. Oh. Now, here's the moment of truth. Now, is there a different... How do I... I don't know how to get power on. We'll just power on and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Great. Okay, well, let's try that again. Oh, there was a flicker. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so something's definitely happening. Let's try this. Good old-fashioned blow on the cartridge. Power on. Oh, snap, son. Mario Paint. It works. So we've got these super crappy little controllers. Um... Oh, I need the mouse for paint, don't I? Oh, okay, so that's not going to work. Damn, now I really want the mouse. I couldn't get this tune out of my head. Till I heard these flowers. Then a heartbeat. And the sound of mushrooms sprouting. It was raining cats and dogs. In harmony. Then airplanes hit the high notes. Even the stars came out to play. I think I just wrote a song. Mario Paint. Draw and make music. Only on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, but that's awesome. Super Famicom cartridge works. Let's get that out. Oh, hold on. Let me just pop that down. Let's try Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Just because you haven't tried this one before either. Oh, straight away. Dee, 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 dee. Oh my god, yes. Now, my only issue with this is these controllers seem real shitty. But I need to check if Super Famicom controllers work in here because they look exactly the same. But I mean, yeah, everything working great on the Super Famicom. Do, 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 do. Yes! It's weird seeing Mario Kart on such a big TV. Boop. Boop. Ooh, how's the control? Oh, snap! I mean, I'm trying to do it with one hand, but this joystick is actually super nice. Ooh. Can we do this with one hand? No, this is impossible. But it works. Perfect. Okay. Now let's try the Famicom side. Ugh. I'll do this with one bloody hand. Oops. Yeah. So we'll try our brand new 501. I mean, 90% of them are going to be clones, but it was $80, wasn't it? So let's go. Oh, snap. Here we go. Works straight away. That's what we like to see. Ninja Turtles. 500 games, it reckons. Choplifter. Let's see if Choplifter works. Whee! Yes! Oh, snap. Again, trying to play with one hand, which is impossible, because I can't shoot. Uh. Boom, 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 boom. Amazing. So I guess if you just press reset... The whole thing comes up again. Let's just see what other... Tiny Toons. Ninja Gaidem. Let's see what Tiny Toons. So the games all work, which is amazing. Hell yes. This is amazing. 150 bucks for this system. And now I've got 500 games. 
This is more of a one way if I'm traveling or something, I can bring this in a couple of games. Ah, oh, yeah, again, impossible to play with one hand. But there we have it, team. The FC Jewel Game Joy system. Super Famicom work. Famicom work. Absolutely incredible. Mario Paint works too, so I really need to get myself the mouse for that. Now, let's quickly check if Super Famicom controllers will work on this system. Okay, now I have my legitimate, my real, look at that. Compared to, where's the other... I mean, you can just see the difference in quality. But hey, for 150 bucks for a system that plays both, I don't care. And especially if this controller fits in here. Well, I know it fits, but it's whether it will work. Let's see. Let us see. Power on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck yeah, buddy. Oh my god, game changer. Double Dragon, Robo, let's just stick some Robocop on. Yeah, boy. So, licensed Nintendo controllers work on the FC Jewel Game Boy. Bit of Robocop. What's better is because also, I love these controllers over the original Famicom controllers. So I'm actually super pumped that I can play Famicom games with a Super Famicom controller. Robocop, yeah, buddy! Oh shit, I can't do it with one plate with one hand though. Ooh. Let's go. See if we can, how far we can get with one hand. Whoa! Boom, 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 boom. Screw you, buddy. Get out of here. Is it a jump? No, Robocop doesn't jump, does he? Do do oh! run over yeah this is impossible anyway there we go that's incredible news the fc jewel game joy my 501 works the super famicom side works the famicom side works and now we know that super famicom controllers work on it too booyah so I mean, all around, an unreal deal. $150 for the console itself, which plays both. There we go. $150 bucks for that. And then another $80 for the 501 game. I mean, most of them are going to be clones, but we've tried a few now, and they all work. So I would say this is an absolute incredible deal. But there we have it, guys. Something a little bit different today. An FC Jewel system. One of the China knockoffs, but hey, sometimes the knockoffs are absolutely, absolutely fine. There you go. See, she's in the original Famicom box. But there we have it. All working, all good. Another great, great week of hunting. We'll call it there, guys. Thank you so much. I've been Bob's. This has been the Kingdom of Retro Gaming, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.